Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Disguise for the PC. In the last episode we visited the you know, Dark Assembly several times, trying and failing to get the presents in the shop raised. We finally did, but then prices got raised so high we couldn't actually afford any gear, so whoops. In this episode, we're going to the end of the Sea of Gahana because we finally figured out where our lunch is. My, my, what a gluttonous bunch you are! Following moi all this way! Look who's talking! Give it up! I swear by the name Defender of Earth that I'll get that basket back! You are going to get hurt if you think that I am your average picnic basket thief. Very well, I shall demonstrate for you humans the elegant techniques of the Dark Adonis! Your name is Midboss. Whoa! So bright! Is glowing dramatically after pointing a skill that a Dark Adonis should have? I feel like Prince Peasley if everyone if anyone would have had that. Shoot at this rate we'll lose! Gordon! Jennifer, Thursday, let's give it a go! To protect the earth from evil! There is no rest for the champions of justice. Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Here to save the day! Triangle attack! This isn't good. Maharo, Etna, they're stealing the show! Well, I don't really care. <laughs> I do like his uh, actual sprite, not the one to the left of the screen, but the one in the middle. <laughs> He's just uh, so done with this nonsense. It's fantastic. You should. We're joining in. What? You serious, Flog? And so is Etna. I'm no longer ordinary, Flog. I'm Guardian Flog! Alright! Here we go! As long as evil exists in the world, this elegant angel will soar the skies! The people's cheers bring me courage! The warrior of love, Guardian Flan! Uh, the others are just so not into this, but then Flan's providing enough enthusiasm for all of them, I guess. Because life. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. I can understand that, Etna. <laughs> Your teamwork is terrible compared to the defenders of Earth. Jeez, we're being laughed at because of you two. She's pissed, Prince! I give up. Do what you want. Have Lucinda nuke him is usually the answer. He has... Ooh, he has some rather tough-looking backup, actually. Adonic Fury. Also level 43. These dragons look like a problem, though. Wind weak. Very wind resistant.
Alright, I feel like this is a good formation. These guys really fell off in level quickly though. This game is not kind if you aren't willing to grind. I see he's learned! I do like that when you get to the Omega level spells, they start to look less like casting just an explosion of magic and looking more like summon spells. Back in most games, the summon the, the thing summoned for each spell will actually change a lot. Like I remember uh, Omega Wind in I think Disgaea, Disgaea D2. It actually looks like a giant robot that just casually walks by and blasts you with end and wind magic. Keep defending. Tell me. You... Jerks. Okay, just drop the Omega Ice on him. Angelina can run for her life once we've uh, taken out the dragon because I feel like those are the big dangers. Go to level up, which is nice. We seem to take a step back. I don't know precisely what sort of attacks he has, I just know that I don't want to be hit by them. Okay, what sort of attack range does that thing have? Ooh, Angelina, you are almost dead. Flung save her, please. Now run for your life. Actually, just in case, I don't know whether magic boost wears off that quickly or not. Intelligence of 1049. And now 1020. It's not as significant as I'd like it to be, but it's still not insignificant. And now Lucinda is level 70! She has a 30 level advantage over everyone! She is also standing in the Harl's way, please move! Alright, I guess Lahal will just hit them as is. Although he could use one of Lucinda's spells to really flatten things. 
I mean, let's be fair, he doesn't have good magic. Like, it's half his attack stat. If we're going to kill these guys anytime decently, it's going to be with his physical attacks. Send in the prinnies! Crash the enemy into outer space. Sure, why not? And then hit them with cosmic energy and then... This is the reason why Gordon is having trouble keeping up with the other two. Terminate! We have. We could pull someone else out if we wanted to. The question is do we have anyone with enough range that they won't be on the front lines? I guess it'll have to be Eleanor. Job. Problem is Kamadre. Yep. I'm very glad how the games let you see exactly what sort of attack range these abilities have before. Get hit by them. You guys are doing more damage to your own side. But it's also comboing into some very nasty amounts of damage, and I don't like that. And poison everywhere. SP recovers sadly. We've actually used Omega Wind more times than we've used Giga Wind. Or Mega Wind. Finish you off. You lose again. Now give back the picnic basket. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I have already consumed the contents. Has it really been that long? <laughs> How did you consume all of a single picnic basket, a multi-man lunch for yourself, and still have such a glamorous physique? You fiend! How dare you! 
That means this duel is a draw. We shall meet again. My compliments to the chef. <gasps> Our lunch! Oh, it's okay. We can always make it again. Jennifer's right. Lunches are expendable. The important thing is, we got to beat up mid-boss again. Which reminds me, I haven't had Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza in a long time. Uh, now then, since this is all over, we'll be heading back to Earth. There's no need to shed any tears. So long, people of the netherworld. You go, Gordon. Take it nice and easy. No one, not even a demon, can deny a man his Pizza Shack teriyaki pizza. Want to bet? Now, if I can just return to Earth and act like nothing ever happened. You know, I could care less about you leaving, but how do you plan on getting out of here? Huh? Uh, yeah, you kind of crashed your ship when you got here. You don't have any replacement parts, do you? No! Now that you mention it, our spaceship is in pieces! We have no way of getting home! So much for escaping the hull's laundry duty. Gordon, you just realized that? Yeah, she is definitely the brains of the group. Jeez Louise! Oh! My perfect plan! Too bad, Gordon. Your fate is to be my vassal. Oh. Will we ever be able to return to Earth? Probably. You didn't show up in D2 after all. Who will defend the planet now? Will my duty as defender of Earth go unfulfilled? Gordon, why don't you change from Defender of Earth to Defender of the Netherworld? What? I... I could never do that. Oh, come on, Gordon. The Earth isn't the only world. Our duty is to safeguard peace, whether it be on Earth or in the Netherworld. She's awfully open-minded about it. Hmm, but that title doesn't sound right. a good title. In the name of King Laharl, I knight thee, Slayer of the Netherworld! Hey, wait. That's not any better. I promoted you from being a vassal. Quit complaining. I mean, you don't have to scrub his shorts anymore or do his laundry. Does that mean we can stay here, Harley? Your unusual abilities. They'll come in handy as I take control of the netherworld. Oh, I'll try to tolerate that sexy body of yours. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear the word tolerate come from his mouth. Well, that's as close to acceptance as he gets, right? Of course, it could just be that he started liking sexy bodies. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. All's well that ends well. It's not well. This is a dream. It must be a dream. Somebody tell me it's a dream. And that's how these people were welcomed into King Laharl's court. I know I helped the demons get the humans on their side. But these days, so concerned about that kind of stuff. I hope one day all angels, demons, and humans can live happily together just as we do. The end. Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans, End. Armada steadily advancing. It's up to me to protect the netherworld. <laughs> what can a little girl do? Mecha Curse Cannon! Anything in the air is toast! Hmm. Not bad. Plasma Magic Circle! Nothing can get past this baby! Ugh. 
Impossible. And the ultimate weapon, Love Freak Lawn. With her idealistic notion of peace and love, she'll annoy you into submission. <sighs> How dreadful. Next on Legend of the Netherworld Heroine, Episode 11, Etna versus Edia. Another page in the Netherworld's history. We can't just sit here. All forces, move out! Achievement unlocked. Angels, demons, humans. I could save, but I'm not going to. Because we have enough time to at least watch the next... Yeah, to watch this intro. Finally, the time has come. If we don't secure the Netherworld in this battle, the Earth won't last another 100 years. Capturing the Netherworld, that's our only means of survival. Ah, that is correct. Of course it's this jerk! Why else would we be invaded by humans other than because it's Volcanus' machinations? Your... Is there something you want? No! I just came to make sure that you weren't backing out of this. We're preparing to launch the attack. Our fleet of space carriers was constructed using the most advanced technology. If your information is correct, then there's no way we can lose. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm counting on you. <sighs> and the thing is, it wouldn't surprise me if Volcanus fed a few lies just to ensure that we get destroyed. A sort of... Well, the humans are definitely going to win, but they're going to lose a lot more than they thought they would. But the netherworld is destroyed, so what does it matter to me? <laughs> oh, penis is a jerk. I hope that's been established by this point. That angel, what does he hope to gain giving us information about the netherworld? See? No, now is not the time for second guessing. The earth is breathing its last breath. All ships, prepare for takeoff! Earth Defense Force, move out! Episode 11, Heroes Will, Overlords Way. Not good. Not good. Not good! This is not good at all! I must find a way to return to Earth. At this rate, I'll have no choice but to accept a job as Slayer of the Netherworld. Uh, to be fair, it's not as if it's entirely purpose. You keep getting Reverend Surrections at the Netherworld Hospital, after all. Hmm, is there any way? Oh yeah, the EDF. When I don't return according to schedule, they'll surely come to rescue me. All right, a ray of hope! Hey, was that supposed to be you talking to yourself? I could hear every word you said! And so could the people on the other side of the netherworld. Gordon, do you really think the EDF will come to rescue us? Of course I do! I have faith in them! Prince! Prince! I do want to point out that Jennifer's facial expression should be a bit of a red flag. Or maybe just a yellow flag, maybe not a red flag level yet. What? Something wrong? You've received a challenge! What? From who? Get ready for this! It's from the Defender of Earth! Again? What did you say? I guess they replaced you pretty quickly. That's true. I don't remember writing a challenge. What's it say? I am the Defender of Earth. I finally found you, evil overlord. The time has come to settle the score. Come to the Forest of the Dead. There, you shall meet your doom. Doesn't really sound like Gordon's style, does it? I can't speed this up. Okay, let's go! It's your duty as an overlord again? That's right! I'll pound him 
into submission and make him my vassal. Well, let's hope it isn't Gordon again then, because I don't think he could take another pounding from us. Lucinda too strong. Rejoice, Gordon! It looks like you'll be meeting a new friend! <laughs> and I guess we could end the episode by talking with everyone. I can't think of a topic of conversation, so please take this. You received vile brilliance? What the hey? It's a spear! It's a very powerful spear! Give me that spear! Please! Demons don't wash their hands after going to the bathroom! It's custom! Is that so? I, I wash my hands! Oh dear, Etna does not care about custom. The Odin world is never is a never-ending dungeon. Have you been to the bottom? You'd think that's not quite... Like, you'd think that you, you can't reach the bottom of a never-ending dungeon, but no, it is actually possible to find the end of it. It's just that... Procedural generation. You get to see a lot of different versions. Those born as good-for-nothings will be worthless forever, unless they transmigrate. But don't you think that raising them to be the best makes you a truly superb mentor? Right, you don't really want to set your character starting values too low, otherwise... I mean, we've already gone into it, haven't we? The aptitudes are important, so a low starting stat value is going to mess up the later levels. I feel a breeze, dude! This castle's getting old! Are there other defenders of Earth? Well, not really. I'd be happy if there were. I'd never be bored. And I guess that's everyone? Right. Yeah, I guess that's everyone. Next time on Let's Play Disgaea BC, we're going to go check out this new place. I don't think I can do some off-screen grinding. I think that if I go to chat to her... Prince, I hear that I throw her challenge you to a duel. That's right, I'm on my way to beat him right now! The Forest of the Dead, right? I'll open the gate right now. I can't wait to see who this hero is! Yeah. I guess now that I have done that, I can grind off screen if I feel like. Until next time, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.